Hi, I'm Grace, Key to Record 3 Golf. And I'm Hope, November Delta 2 Lima. And welcome, welcome to, to HamRadio.World. Today we're going to show you how to put together your fiberglass push-up mast from TN07 Engineering. This particular mast that we're going to be showing you with is their HD6 fiberglass push-up mast, but this technique of doing it will um, work for all of the TN07 engineering masts. And what we need to start with is we need to take apart all of the pieces in here, and we need to wipe them down with a damp rag so that we can get all the little dust and all that off of them. And then we have to use our masks and our gloves and all, and glue these things onto the top of each of the poles. I'm seeing the dust on you, but not on me. Because I'm holding or it. Or the rag. Hm, there I am. I can't touch the clean bend. So we've gotten everything wiped off and we're going to be putting on these to the ends of all the different poles. We already tried one to see um, how it worked, but we got the others out of the way so they're in the corner over there. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using this 3M Fast Cure 520, no, uh, sorry, 5200 adhesive sealant. And we're going to be using it um, around here. Grace is going to be doing the gluing. So let's get started. So I'm going to put on a little bit of glue, about that much. Put it on about an inch in and just spread it. Can you hold it still? Got to put the cap back on that. Feels like marshmallow fluff. Looks like it too. Don't need it. Gloves slipping off. Okay, well, where is it? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to get Daddy to help us hammer this in so that we can actually get it in. A rubber mallet would probably work better, but we're using this to protect the end. Okay, so Grace, you need to take off your glove so you don't get it everywhere. And then you two hold it. That one's fine. Just leave that on. As long as you didn't get it on it. So what we need to do is, once we have it hammered all the way down, we check to see if it's flush, if it's right up on here. Um, because if it's not straight up on there, then it can mess up the other poles and it won't go in and out straight. I think we're good. 
So now it's my turn to put the glue on. Same thing for each of the different things, just each time it's a little smaller. Um, you want to put the, a little bit of glue on your finger, spread it all around, and you want to make sure not to get it actually at the edge, because that if you get it on the inside at all, then it can mess it up. Cover it back up. So we we'll want to probably somewhere around there. Okay, and then we'll put this on. Do you want to do this? Hmm? Okay, Grace is going to try and hammer. Looks like that one didn't need to be hammered. Yeah. We've done all the gluing, and now we need to let them dry for 24 hours. Then we need to come back and mark on the poles for how far to pull them out. So now let's wait 24 hours. So it's been over 24 hours and now we're ready to mark them. The instructions say to mark them for knowing how far up to pull them without the risk of um, taking it completely off with the mask when you're raising it. Um, so it says to mark them at 12 inches and that would put the mast at 36 feet but we want it to be both more sturdy and we want the um, mast to be at um, 33 feet, which is where we want to put our TN07 X-beam, which we used at the Dry Tortugas. Um, that's where we want that to be, so we're gonna mark them at 18 inches. So, let's get started. I'm gonna extend this to, um, so that you can see where I'm marking it at 18 inches. You don't have to be exact, but we want to get pretty close. Okay, on to the next one. Okay, your turn, Grace. My turn. <laughs> Didn't draw straight. <laughs> That's enough. Okay. Last one. The work's needing to be so thin that it would do stuff. It's not how it works. So now we're going to show you how to, to mark them all the way around. We're going to place the tubes in them one by one as we do them and bring it up to the mark that we've made there and tighten it and you want to tighten it so it doesn't slip but if it's not tightened when you push it down then you just get a screwdriver and it's actually a reverse screw so that when you put it down it will um, not unscrew itself so it gets tight by going counterclockwise and what we'll do is we'll take the marker and using this thing um, the round part we'll basically use it as a roller so that we can get a good circle. Okay, 
So we're going to do another here and we'll show you with a close up shot. So again, I'm just going around it, using it basically as a ruler so I can get a good circle. There you go. So we're going to mark the rest of these poles off camera and then we're going to show you what it looks like set up with our TN07 engineering tripod. So we have it all set up. We have the TN07 engineering heavy duty mast and we're using the TN07 engineering tripod. And this thing works really great with their mast because when you're trying to put up your mast it's really easy um, to keep it vertical when you have higher winds, it's just hard for someone to stand here while other people are putting out the guy wires. So this is a huge help. Also, if you have it only up 15 feet or something like that, you don't even need guy wires most of the times. And so we find that this works really well. And so, do you have anything else to add? Besides, thank you for watching, then no. Well, thanks for watching. Thank you.